Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to bypass the Google account on Samsung Galaxy G5 2016 and uh, this method also works on G7 uh, 2016 and I guess that works on many other uh, Samsung models, so let's do it. So, first thing that you must do is to go online and uh, on the Google search bar just type real term 2.0 ok and go to the first link and uh, from here download and uh, install this uh, application ok now just hit save I already did that and install the application after you do that uh, go back and uh, on Google search bar you must download Samsung Android drivers here is the link okay and from here just hit and hit save I already did that and I will hit cancel okay then just hit uh, right on the real term application hit properties go to compatibility and hit run this program as an administrator and hit apply and hit OK. Uh, now you must put a SIM card into your phone and uh, I already did that and I will show you. OK, here is my active SIM card that I put in this phone. OK, so you must put an active SIM card into your phone. OK. Now go back and uh, you must connect your phone to your PC with a micro USB data cable and this side I will connect to my phone and the other side I will connect to my PC. Okay. And now just uh, open uh, real term application okay and uh, here you must uh, enable half duplex I don't know for sure what is this and uh, here you must see this uh, green light uh, I don't know why this uh, is not green but uh, let's hope that uh, application uh, will work uh, now go to port and I have here a uh, COM port 3 and uh, you must go to your uh, device manager and uh, go to modems ok here is the modem Samsung USB modem hit properties and go to modem and you must have the same port here and uh, here okay mine is com3 and here is com3 if you have here com4 you must uh, write here 4 and hit change after that okay now let's go back and uh, now go to send and you must copy and paste these two comments now just hit copy and now click here and type ctrl v and now hit send and it's ok and now go to the second command and hit copy now go back and ctrl v and hit send and as you can see my phone calling just hit end and hit message okay now you can disconnect your phone now here just enter the message google.com and hit send and here it was created a hyperlink and just hit on this link and now you have access to Google. Okay, now here in the Google search bar just type 
Google Account Manager Okay, here is Google Account Manager and uh, go to this first link Google Account Manager APCs I hope you see it Okay And now scroll down and uh, here we have uh, a few versions of Google Account Manager and from this list you must uh, choose the version that works for your phone but uh, the version must be before August 2016. Now let's try this uh, first version 6.0.1 to see if it works and just hit the download button and wait a few seconds. Now scroll down and here just hit download APC and wait a few seconds. Your download will be starting. And now starting download. Okay. Now go back. And again back. And go to Google search bar and here just type Quick Shortcut Maker. Here is the link. Quick Shortcut Maker. And uh, here just scroll down. And go here where you see pangu.in. Quick Shortcut Maker Solve It Fix. Just hit on this link. And now scroll down and hit download quick shortcut maker just hit on this and starting download okay now go back and uh, in the Google search bar just type Galaxy apps here is Galaxy apps and now scroll down and go to this link Samsung Galaxy Apps Mobile Service Apps Samsung Levant and hit on this and now scroll down and hit where you see this white button Samsung Galaxy Apps hit agree here hit now and on the search bar just type ES file explorer here is es file explorer <clears throat> hit on this and hit to download this application now uh, you must uh, connect to your samsung account if you don't have one it is very easy just hit create an account <coughs> and enter your email password and fill your data I already have an account and I will enter my ID and password and now signing in and loading and now hit accept and download and wait a few seconds and now just hit the play button to open the application now hit here for three times hit cancel and go to download and here we have the application that I downloaded before. Here is Google Account Manager. Let's install this application. Just hit Settings and now enable Unknown Sources and hit OK. Now hit Install and hit Done. And now let's uh, install Quick Shortcut Maker application. Just hit on this. Again hit Settings hit enable unknown sources, hit OK and hit install. Now hit open and here in the search bar just type Google Account 
manager, here is Google account manager, hit done and hit again and now you must choose where you see type email and password, here is ok and now hit try and here hit on these three points, hit browser sign in, hit ok and here you must enter your own Google account. I will enter mine. Now sign in, in and we are back uh, in the Windows with the try options. Now just hit the power button and hit restart and wait until your phone will restart. Now just enter your uh, SIM PIN card, now hit start, you are already connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot, just hit next, hit again next, hit agree and wait. Now. Uh, just hit skip, skip anyway and you must do the initial setup of your phone. Go to apps and hit settings. Now scroll down and hit backup and reset and go down and hit factory data reset. And now hit reset device and delete all and wait until your phone will uh, reset and restart. And now I'm back with my phone and all you must do is the initial setup, just hit start and hit next, next, next. And now hit finish and now go to apps, hit settings, scroll down, hit about device and hit software info and here is my Android version 6.0 and my Android security patch level from October 2016. So this was my tutorial for today, I hope to be useful for you and uh, have a nice day.